Well, hello, YouTubians. Welcome back to the Barbecue Trucker and learning how to play Farm Simulator 19. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Hit the dislike if you dislike it. Let me know why. Uh, that way I can make better videos. Uh, any questions you have, I'll answer all questions and and all and uh, I know I'll probably forget some things but like I say this, these are instructional videos on how to get started and get going the quick way this is uh, episode number four and uh, when we left off the last episode we were doing a little bit we've done a little bit of landscaping and uh, I tell you what this is what the pickups good for it's a uh, Drive around and take a look. Now, I kind of went wild with my landscaping and wiped out too much of my field. But that's not a problem because that's the next tutorial we're going to show you how to do is create fields. And you can do this to make two small fields into one big field or whatnot. But uh, this is how you do it. And uh, we're going to need a tractor and a plow. Okay, so let's go to the old shop. Let's get us a tractor. Go to large tractors. Go all the way over. Come back from the John Deere's. I go over here to the, not the first one, but the second case. Like I say, you're going to need that first power. That's That first one's a powerful truck. I mean tractor. You're going to need it, but I, we'll cover that later. I'll get you a Magnum Series tractor. And I always go ahead and put the bigger engine in it. It's 13 more thousand dollars, but we're on government subsidy, it doesn't matter. And uh, the wheel set up, you can have it standard, you can have it with wheel weights, you can have wide tires, you can have wide tires and weights, you can have narrow twin wheels, you can have big twin wheels, you can have rear twin wheels, you can have a crawler track, and that's what I like. I mean, come on, look at there, ain't that a badass looking tractor? <laughs> we've seen this before okay so let's go ahead and get that it'll be at the shop for us now then let's go over to tools and let's go to plows now all these different ones but a lot of those smaller ones now this one here is 6.2 meters you know, about 19 feet that one's 10.5 meters over 30 meters wide but the way it's in line, I don't like it. It's hard to pull, but if you want to use it, my son likes it. But, uh, so what I get, let's see. See, that's only 5.3. These are two, these are the same. But they're 8.5 meters. That's my favorite plow. But you're going to need to plow if you want to create your own field or, you know, put two fields into one or whatever. So let's go ahead. There's no options. Click to buy. We'll buy it okay all right let's go to the shop it's gonna save that's fine and like i say this is showing you how to plow and make fields so back to the shop and you can either click on that and with the right joystick and then click the square button or you see the dot the green dot is the tractor move your little icon to it click on it no that's the lawnmower but we bought earlier because remember we bought all that stuff in the last video okay so it doesn't matter we can just grab one of these tractors that, that's not it grab one of them all right and then let's go hook up our plow we'll do hay in just a little bit but we i've got that field being harvested so that we can go ahead and whoop so we can go ahead and plant grass in it and do it. this is the way I normally do it. Uh, let me get kind of lined up here. I'll show you how my son does it. Uh, you can do it any way you want, but get it like that and then go to the inside view and swing around. Look at there. You can take and center that your center little deal right on the deal there and reverse right on up. And then push the X button. You got it. All 
ready. So let's head out, start plowing. When I come in the shop here, it's not very much rougher. I go this way and around this way. Try not to take these signs out, but you know, if you do like that, oh, didn't take it out. It'll, it'll just fall over. You can go pick it up and throw it away if you want to. You can leave it where it is. The next time you restart the game, it'll be right back where it was. And like I say earlier, uh, I picked a, a central location. That way I'm not too far away from anything. When it starts you out with your with a little bit of land, it starts you in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. And it seems like everything's so far to get to and whatnot. But and like I say, I kind of went overboard with the landscaping there and took away some of my field. So I'm going to put some of my field back. And the way to do it, and you can look at your map. I'll tell you what, let's stop real quick. And uh, let's look at the map. And you see, like, okay, these two right here. I went ahead and plowed in between here and made that one big field. You can do it however you want to. Okay, now let's go show you how to do that. All right, see, I kind of went too far out, ate up too much of my field. Not a problem. We'll just add some back. All right, now let's figure out, back way out so that we can figure out, and look around, uh, go the other way. Figure out how much do we want to add back. Well, the best thing to do is to start at the area that is like most all this area right here in front of me to the side of me. We can uh, put back in the field, but we don't know exactly where to start it. So let's go down here and see how much space we need. I'll end up having to move that pickup, but. You see, we're going to need this for the dairy, but you know something? I think what we could do is... Let's start about right here. Somewhere in this area here. Wait, let me turn around. I want to see where did I want to start from. Okay, yeah, that'll work. And you can do it either way you want. Let's tell you what let's do. Let's you turn here. And we will start about right here. We'll go down a little ways. Get straight. Let's, oops. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Kind of try to line up straight as we can. Got to come straight back. We can start a little bit in that field just so that we know we connected them. But what you want to do is you want to push your L1 button, gives you your options. First, we need to push the X and unfold the plow. Makes it a little bit wider. Then we want to go down to the bottom one where it says allow to create fields. Push the triangle button. Or if you want to just limit it to the fields, you put it there. But put it on allow to create fields or it won't create a new field. So now then lower the plow. Set the cruise control. And go about as far as we think we need to. Just to add some field back. That should be pretty good. Now we got to head back the other direction. And all this plowed area is going to be new field that we can plant and do whatever we want to with. Let me try to get it lined up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Lower the 
plow. Put it on cruise control. It is uh, R1, L1, and circle. Now, I'm just going to show you that line of this. I won't make you wait to watch me just sit there and plow all of it. But <coughs> like I say, I kind of took all that out and flattened out this area and whatnot so that everything will be nice and smooth here. Uh, it looks like I got a little bit more to do over there on the right. but And now we're... Uh, just adding field back because when you push the landscape and you saw it takes away the, the field so uh, I kind of went overboard with it but if you do that no problem just create some more field and that way we got room to drive without getting on the field and be able to utilize our uh, granaries now we're going to come up here and stop and I'll show you why because let's raise the plow i'm not for sure exactly where i want to go so what i want to do is come up here and this will show me the end of my field you see and now i can just start from where the end of my field is and come straight down and square it off There we go, that looks pretty good. And off we go like a herd of turtles. This should plow to right behind. If I keep it as straight as I can, it should plow to right behind the building. Which is fine because we don't do anything behind the building anyway. I got pretty close. Got that even. Yeah, this thing is hard to back if you go too fast. <laughs> you can figure it out. All we want to do is get that little strip. It don't matter if we get it, because we're going to take out the middle anyway. Okay, well, anyway, that's how you create new fields. Like I say, I'm not going to make you sit and watch me do it all in, you know, because that'll take a little bit of a time, a little bit of time. But anyway, that's how you create your new fields. All righty. not really in the way okay one thing that we do need to also go over we got our dairy farm anytime you're gonna have animals they've got to have water now you can get a truck and back it up to the creek and fill it but no nah, don't do that here's the best way to do that come over here push the center button on your controller and uh, this is PlayStation 4 and um, come over to miscellaneous and then come over to water station click that and then we wanted it at a pretty good location and I found out that a good location for the water station is I like to turn it this way a good location is just kind of not really in the way not out of the way but go over a little bit and come down here so we got plenty of room all right whammo got a water station okay now then being we got a water station well let's push the center button and let's go and to vehicles and get us a truck and means we got that lizard for the uh trailer grain trailers let's uh i like this aggro cab over 
uh, but I do not like that color. So we'll go to my favorite color of what they have. And then the rim color is going to be, oh, wrong button. Uh, rim color will be the same. There we go. Come down here, the trailer hitch are standard. I'd say put a trailer hitch on it. That way you can pull trailers with it. I mean, regular trailers. I'll show you. See the hitch? Kind of hard to see it. Right there. See, it's gone now. And it's back. That way you can pull regular trailers and not just semi-trailers. So therefore, we got everything there. Let's go ahead and buy it. Okay, and then, yeah, not even going to be any good without a tank trailer. And I'm trying to remember where they are. I think, you just have to find them. I think the animals, I'm not for sure. Yeah. Okay, I use this one, and I use this one. This one only ha transports water or milk. And this one does milk, water, fertilizer herbicide and so I use these if I'm going to use a fertilizer tanker that'll be another one but let's just go ahead and get this one water and milk okay uh, let's see main color I always go with chrome or wait a minute I think I might go with try stainless steel on this one no. Go back to Chrome. I'm sorry. Okay. No other choices. Okay. We're going to get close to wrapping up. As you see, I set a timer. This video. But before we do wrap it up. Before we do wrap it up. I'm going to... Uh, get this water thing done so I can show you how to do that okay I guess we, yeah we bought it uh, let's I'm gonna save then we'll go to the shop and pick up our tanker and I was only one away from it is that oh that's the front of the tank <laughs> all right cab over turns a lot quicker in smaller areas but i don't know i just like variety so we hook up the tanker and let's head to the water station Oops, run over a sign. Uh, it'll be back next time. Didn't mean to. Air horns. That's the R1 and X. Lights is R1 and circle. All right, we'll cut across here. Just because we can. See how rough that was? That's the way it'll be on your property if you don't do that landscaping and flatten it. All right, what you just want to do, all you do is simple. Pull right up next to the tank. And then push L3. And look in the bottom right-hand corner there. You see the water adding. While the water's adding, which I'm not going to make you sit and watch the whole thing, but look, I want to show you on the right where it says miles per hour. And you got the uh, fuel gauge. It shows you how much fuel. We, you got the little wrench on the left, upper left. That starts going down. When it gets middle ways, I wouldn't let it get below middle or whatnot. You take it over to your shop. I'll show you how to do that in, uh, in another video. But you take it over to your shop and you store it back to new. 
But anyway, that's how you fill it up. And we can't dump any water yet because we don't have any cows yet. We'll go ahead and get some cows next. And uh, well, first, we need to get the field finished. I'm gonna get the field plowed. I mean, the field done, and then we're gonna plant grass. And I'll show you that'll be our next video. So uh, thank you for watching part four of how to farm on Farming Simulator 19. Uh, this is the old barbecue trucker from Central Texas. Wishing everybody a happy, happy one. God bless you. Stay safe. Let's get rid of this coronavirus however we have to do it. Uh, don't forget to click like or dislike if you don't like it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got a tough skin. Don't worry about it. I'll just tell you to kiss my ass, and that's my joking thing. You go look some of my barbecue trucker videos. You'll see my editions of Kiss My Ass News, and you get a kick out of it. But anyway, like I say, like, subscribe. Hit the little dingy bell, you get a notification anytime I upload a video, and I'm going to try to do all these how-to videos on Farming Simulator. You want to know how to do something? Ask me, and I will get right back to you. You can always email me at thebbqtrucker at gmail.com. All that information will be listed in the on the video, and uh, just ask, ask away. If I can answer it, I will. If not, I'll find the answer for you. And this will really help you get started and get going in this game. Like I say, this is it for episode number four. In episode number five, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get ready to plant some grass and some hay. So until next time, this is a barbecue trucker. Y'all have a good one. Be safe and God bless.